So we are live right now. Hopefully people start coming in. Yeah. It says. Let me let me go let me go take a look. Very weird. Okay, let me let me go check mine real quick. It should be working just fine. All right, but let my look. <laughs> it's not true. Why do they do that? <laughs> Hell yeah. That's so good. Hell yeah. Yeah, my... I'm not seeing it updated yet either, but, you know, I, I can't say that they're right. All right. Uh, so I would say watch it over stream and just mute it because you can hear me. Um, and hopefully, sweet. Hopefully there's not any kind of um, doubled audio or anything. I'll have to rely on other people to kind of tell me if there's anything going on like that. Uh, let me see. Yeah, I, last time I talked to, um, it could it could have just been something on my end. But last time I, I was talking to a friend on Twitch and pl like and talking to them through Discord while they were on Twitch. It was like doubling the audio, but I, I don't know if that was because of me or them. So it, it's, it just depends, I think, on what's going on. But like, we, we got it. It's, she's working. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to pull out the controller, see if I can, yeah. So square is attack from what I can tell. Yeah. So squares attack, and then just whatever direction I'm pointing in is is what's going to happen. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ooh. That's kind of cool. Ah, oh, that's neat. That's really cool. I might stick with the analog just because then I can easily access the uh, the the roll button, which is essential for any Souls game. And I'm also gonna give myself extra debug health because uh, I, you know, I mean, you know, maybe I can try it without it, but it, I'll probably die almost immediately. So. <laughs> yeah, I I. I don't want to tell you what it should be because I'm certainly no game designer. So, like, I would say a little, a little more at least. But, uh, but you know, I, yeah, we'll we'll see what it goes on. So I'm I'm gonna add myself. It's E for debug health, right? Or is it um, enter? Thank you, thank you, thank you. But I'm gonna give myself like fifty just to be safe. Fifty health, J just because uh, I I just want to show people what's going on. So we're rolling around, uh, certainly not at the speed of sound, because this isn't Sonic, but it doesn't need to be. <laughs> uh, my wife just, my wife just killed me. I'm going to blame her. <laughs> <laughs> that is Michaela. That's one of my friends from college. I'm playing my friend Barry's game, Michaela. It's pretty cool. Barry made this. It's dope. Oh, I'm, I'm embarrassing myself right now. So, <laughs> well, now it's forty-five. Yeah, I'm getting my, yeah, I'm getting my ass kicked. Damn! Come on, you little, little monsters. I'm, I'm, I've got my wits about me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I, I definitely found myself running out of stamina a lot in my first playthrough. And, uh, you know, just... I have to say, when I can finally land the big boy attack, it feels really nice. 
I have not been doing it. Yeah, are you are you considering doing um it it is really pretty, right, Michaela? The color palette's very nice. I was gonna say, are you considering any um like uh souls like Estus system or any kind of healing item thing? Yes. Oh, that is cool. That's awesome. Mm hmm. <laughs> That's so cool. They gave, they give me some grief, dude. <laughs> I've been trying. I think you told me and I completely forgot. Um, you said just hit him at the side, right? Cuz I killed I killed one before. Um yeah. I think I got him. Hell yeah. Um I had a thought. I was gonna say so so the KP is basically you kill enemies and regain health eventually, right? Essentially. That Yeah, it it sort of is like there's not exactly like the regain system of Bloodborne, but like that's definitely something that they implemented there too. It's like they didn't they didn't want to do Yeah, they didn't want to do Estus, but they still wanted to do something. Oh it's cool, they can fall too. That's so neat. I did not realize. Oh, neat, 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 neat. Let me try that. Man, these little guys. <laughs> They're so quick. I think that might be good, uh, just because they get back really fast, and then, you know, same same issue. Like, almost too fast for me to be able to swing at them again. Oh, God. Oh, uh, Lo Luis Rodriguez is my wife, so she says, uh, this game is cute. And I agree, it is very cute. I really like the design of the little dude. Yeah, he's got... Oh, what happened? Oh, am I not supposed to? Oh no, uh, really? I thought that's how fast he was moving normally. I can still sprint, see? Oh, damn. Oh, dang. Oh no, maybe dying. Let me, let me reset it. I don't mind. That's okay. I'm having a lot of fun. So I, I, I will say also, um, when I tried to uh, move, when I reset the game, I had to roll to make it happen. Oh, okay, okay. Well, that's... I love the big swing. So cool. It feels very nice. Because it's like hard. Say, say what? <laughs> Is... Oh no. 
Oh yeah. Yeah, um Yeah, I, I was I forgot that I had reset it, so I didn't have any health. <laughs> let me let me do it again. Let me do it again. Let me get let me cheat. I'm gonna do let's that this time this time I'll do 40 health. I'll just bump it down as I get better. Cause I didn't I didn't lose as much health as I normally do there. It's you're getting there for sure though. I'm I'm really enjoying what I what I've been playing so far. And definitely like the um uh, the big swing is is a good way to get enemies that you can't normally hit, but I do understand maybe wanting to try different maybe you could try different weapons out too. Like um yeah, like, uh, the way, um, like, you could be, like, you can choose Big Sword, you can choose Little Guy, but obviously Big Sword does more damage than Little Guy. Sure. Yeah! I'm, I'm very proud. Yeah, that's... Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I, I never played very much of the original Zelda. It was all, um, I, I played Link to the Past and most of the 3D games. I I think I haven't. I mean, I guess if you if you consider Link's Awakening a 3D game, even though it's not. Yeah, the new one is like 2.5. But I've played. Um, I think I've played some of Phantom Hourglass, and I played I played a good chunk of uh, the Seasons games when I was a little kid, but never never could figure out how to beat them when I was that young. Yeah, and I don't think I ever beat Link to the past either. I got pretty far, but I never beat it as a little kid. I like I wouldn't mind revisiting it, but like who has the time, honestly? <gasps> mhm. Mm <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, Miyazaki definitely cites Zelda as his like one of his main influences too. So I think you're not you're not wrong that like it's like I mean, it's like dark fantasy. Uh not unlike a lot of Zelda games too, but like definitely amped up. <laughs> to the nth degree but it's got like that really nice sense of exploration and discovery in it that i think a lot of people really love the first zelda for like that resonates with them and like i i love i love zelda as well i i think um i'm somewhat in the minority in terms of like how much i love breath of it's not my favorite at all i would not say that i would not say that i do like it more than a lot of people but um, and that's, and that's really, I think, because I had the Wii Motion Plus when I first played it, 
Like, I did not have the same the same problems people did, because... I heard people tried to do it without it, and it did work, but it was... But it was a mess. Damn. Okay, well, I... I definitely... Oh, yeah, this ghosty guy fucked me up. On the... On my... Oh, you can see him? That's so cool! That's fucking sick! Oh my god! He looks so cool! I love that. No, this is- this is great. Ah. Does this tree have any significance? Like, will it have any significance? That is cool. I like that a lot. I probably can. Yeah, I'll I'll try to figure it out so that we can. Log boy. Oh yeah. He fucked me up the first playthrough. That's so neat. Oh, the big swing can make him uh, get off his his uh, track. Oh, it, looked, it looked like it did, maybe. Oh no! Oh yeah, I, did. I got him. Um, God, I had something else to say. But I was going to say, Breath of the Wild is a game that took me like a year to really get into. Because I played a bunch of it um, when I first got it. And did a bunch of like shrines and stuff. But I, I kind of, like, I picked up a different game in the middle and was planning on getting back to it, but I didn't start playing it again for, like, a year. Because uh, the Switch is something I get in, in concept, like, where you can pick it up and play it, but I, I often don't. I often forget I have it, and then don't play it for, like, you know, six months. And it's not that I haven't enjoyed it a lot. Like, I really like uh, Astral Chain. I really like Breath of the Wild. I really like Mario Odyssey. Like, they're all cool games. Um, but the, like, you know, the handheld nature of it hasn't really, like, gotten me for some reason, but I I do think the game is cool for sure. And I, I like when I finally did beat it, like yeah, when I finally did beat it, it was it was excellent. Um, just like very very different, of course, than other Zeldas uh, in terms of its open world nature. I definitely do have some negative opinions about it, but not like, not that it would make me think that it's a bad game by any stretch. Like, it's really cool. They do, they do. But yeah, I mean, it's cool that you, that you immediately recognized it before I said anything. You're like, these guys, these little dudes. Um... But yeah, Breath of the Wild, I think, has has some things about it that... There's this YouTuber... Yeah. No, 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 I, I, I totally get you. I'm, I'm embarrassing myself right now. Oh, shit, my, my health! No! <laughs> um, at least I beat the log before dying. Yeah, um... God, what was I gonna say? He's still- they're still on me. This little guy. This little dude. Um... What was I gonna say? Also, maybe- maybe, like, them draining health would be unnecessary, just cause so many other enemies can kill you while they've got you. But... It's not- not necessarily for you to take that away. Maybe just make them easier to get off, for sure. Um... But what- yeah. Oh, yeah! Yes! 
the great tree one that it's all right it's all right i will i will simply give myself more debug health like a little turd um there is another way down um god what was i oh yeah breath, breath of the wild um i think there's a there's a really somebody can't hear you no god damn hold on let me try to make that work that i you should you should be heard let me see uh can you guys hear the game because that could be the the main issue desktop audio that's so sad if we missed all your commentary hold on desktop audio says it's on monitor and output so everybody should be hearing it so i don't know why Yeah, go go for it. Go for it. Hold on. God damn it. <laughs> no. I'm so embarrassed. Well, we can play through the game a few more times. Um I I haven't before. This is my first time uh having a person for discord hold on let me try to get everything set up and we might just have to look look it up online too uh let's see yeah what yeah patch and, and or michaela can you tell me if um if you can hear the game itself because that could also... It could just be that you don't hear the desktop. Because that would be... Then then that's it. It's the desktop for some reason. Not... not um. Let me see. Uh, that is very, very annoying. Yeah. Let me see. Audio. It's weird because my Baldur's Gate... Uh, stream they could definitely hear the game which was on the desktop so that is troubling let's see let's make this work please i have to uh, da, 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 da. how about how about now can you guys hear the can game you hear me yet let me see if I can hear me. I think now can. I can hear my voice. Hell yep, I'm here. Yes. I'm so sorry, guys. That is terrible. Well, we're we're gonna just continue talking about the game. Uh... Okay, you guys, let us know if I'm actually audible now. This is me. Sweet. Hooray! That, Someone I'm, can hear me. I apologize for that complete fuck up, guys. It's my bad. <laughs> it's my bad. Not setting the stream up properly. Let us know if I'm too loud or anything like that. And I can, I can always turn you down, too. My, my thing is, like, my voice is way too fucking loud in general. Yeah. So... There's the audio. They both hear us. Hell yeah. Hooray. This is Thank the good God. news. Thank God. What did you change? So I had to make sure that my, um, desk, my, my headphone audio, like, could be heard uh, from the stream. Uh, and for some reason it wasn't before. So I, I just changed it so that it was. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. And if I change again, yeah. I mean, I added, I added the, um, man, this little, this little crab, I tell you, I added a, a new, uh, a new source. So it's, it's, we're all good. We're good now. All right. Hello to Audley's wife. <laughs> this is my friend Barry. Yeah, uh, we met on Twitter. It doesn't count. We, we did meet on Twitter, even <laughs> though I also met my wife online. Yeah, but you guys have met in person. It's different. It's true. It's true. Uh, without, if, if you're not afraid of doxing yourself, Barry, whereabouts do you live? I know you you live. Oh, I am in Cincinnati. Oh, nice. Yeah. So where Harambe escaped? Not escaped. Harambe didn't escape. Harambe got killed. Harambe but was. Five uh... monkeys may or may not have escaped last week. The, oh uh, my it was, god. It was not the news, but it appears it may have been a fake. That zoo. So, I mean, if it's true, that that poor zoo. <laughs> No, this time it was allegedly someone's private illegal collection. 
of monkeys. Hard to say. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there's there's a grainy video of it that could be fake and a bunch of unrelated calls to the police, but no one ever found a trace of any monkeys. I can only say that like as much as I enjoy going to the zoo, I cannot I cannot say that it's an ethical institution too much. Oh, like I know that's certainly like, not. It's like sometimes you could claim conservation efforts, but like not not all the time. Oh, and even and even the conservation efforts you can claim is just because other like people only care because they've gone to the zoo and seen yeah, the animal. Exactly, they have to be in the zoo. It's like, I love elephants, uh, but I don't think they should be in captivity. You know? No, probably not. But yeah, it's a real shame that that's how the world works. It it is a shame. It's it's definitely exploitative, and it's like I I love going there and I love seeing animals, but like you know it's. <laughs> It's wrong. It's just wrong, unfortunately. I saw a coyote last night. It was so beautiful. I was just sitting in my car in a park because that's what I was doing. And there was a coyote and it just walked up. It just walked across. And I'm like, I have never seen one of these fucking things before. First, I thought it was, oh, you found the thing. I did. I warped. Yeah. That is so sick. Secret. I you found the secret. Great. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Guys. I mean, it just takes you to a room that you can also get to otherwise. Yeah, I found a secret. <laughs> One of the guys who worked on, you know, Braid? I do, I do. Yeah, so well, the artist for that is one of this, like, cool, a really cool guy who's friends with me on Twitter now. Ooh. And um, he, he he tried this out briefly, and he was like, dude, you got to put a secret up on that little island. I, he's like, I thought there was one there. And so I just, I put in the quickest one I could think of. That's so cool. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show the death animation so everybody can see it. And then I'm gonna play through it again, and we can talk. We can talk about the games. Yeah. We, missed, we missed so much. You can talk about yet. it. Or you can hear me now. Yeah, the, I'm, all so, I'm really sorry. All right, That's good, totally fine. Goodbye, little guy. All right. Yeah. We haven't decided her name yet. I don't know if you noticed the name of the um. The name of the file is Ferndu Jinel Bay. Ah. Oh. Yeah. So we're, those are the five names we're deciding between for the main character. So did you say Fern? <laughs> Yeah, Fern, Do, Jai, Nell, and Bay. Those are all cool. Oh, thank you. One of the other options we're considering is literally, like, you know how the beginning of Kingdom Hearts, they have all those weird, like, personality questions they ask Hell you to choose yeah. the difficulty setting? We're considering doing that, but it chooses the character's name. That's cool. It's, so so it's, it would it's make a, literally no difference. I didn't know for sure. So it's, it's, a, it's a girl character. Um, yes. It's definitely, like, when when we drew her, it's a girl, but I don't. If we have text, I, I will probably use they them because there's no reason not to. But yeah, we, I keep saying she, and the the character doesn't even have a name, so you can't misgender this character. That's so cool. Uh, we right. haven't decided. I haven't debug health myself. I'm just gonna see how I I do it um, without it. Hell hell yes to they them patch. Hell yeah. That's probably what we'll use by default then. Yeah. And it, like, and if I, I, I'm not good at coding text. In a perfect world, you would just get to select what pronouns the character is referred to as. If I can figure out how that works, because I've never done dynamic text before. I've only you could, done yeah. You could definitely try like an Undertale kind of situation where it's not really clear, uh, or or even important whether it's a boy or a girl. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up, uh, wife? Yeah. My wife walked in. Say say hi. Hi. Say hi to everybody. Hello. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm so glad you're enjoying it, though. I want to ask, um, do you have, like, a favorite room? Ooh, um, I really do like the room I just left, just because of the big tree. But, uh... Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Let me think. Uh, the, the one with the log is pretty cool. The big log gator. Do you like fighting him? I do like fighting the log gator. Um, mostly just because he looks, he looks fucking sick. He looks cool. Well, thank you. Um, oh, this this keep little dude. The, keep telling the artist to like get a fucking Twitter, but he won't do it. I mean, he has one. He doesn't. He doesn't post anything. He, does he? Does he do Instagram stuff? Because I'd be happy to follow him. No. There. He should do that too. He's just he so fuck. He will not. He will not do. Uh, oh, I he died. means to do social media. There's no. There's no like um, personal distaste for it. He just hasn't bothered. Man. And he. Yeah, we're gonna make those bushes are pretty unclear at the moment, so those will definitely have to be made more obviously full of spikes. Yeah, they, I mean, I I know they hurt me just because of experience. Um, right, right, right. Right now they just sort of look like a, a weird vine rock. 
They're very yeah. cool though. Like I like the I like the concept for sure. I like I like oh, that this you. world is like very cute and hostile. That's sort of the idea. Yeah. We're probably gonna make the colors a little moodier because we want it to match the song better, but you know. It's Austin neat. draws cute things, that's the guy's name. This is cute. No no. I saw you do a good dodge roll, nicely done. I, I so, yeah. am okay with the dodge roll. I, I have played every single from software game at this point, other than like stuff before Demon Souls. Like I'm I'm definitely right, sure. Demon Souls onward. Fan. Yeah, I played uh, one of the old ones, Shadow Tower. That was pretty good. But oh, yeah, they're, yeah, they're a lot harder to play. I know they worked I don't know on what... a, a different kind of like ninja game. I think Tenchu, right? They, they. I think that was them. Yeah. They have their hands on that. Something like that. Yeah, okay. I think at one point Sekiro was going to be a Tenchu game. Yeah, Se Sekiro is so fucking cool. It is. I have many mis. It's like Breath of the Wild, where I fucking love it, but I have so many misgivings. You know. Um, my like, main. My main thing is just, like, barrier of entry for these games is so high sometimes. Like, Sekiro especially. Um, I know mm. that there are people that, like, are able to play it and have, like, disabilities. And, like... Oh, sure, sure. That's, that's cool that they did that. But, like, most people are just going to give up instead. Like, I... Yeah. I play those that game because I'm insane, you know. I, <laughs> <laughs> I enjoy. Yeah, yeah. I enjoy. I, I, mean, I, I, I enjoy being frustrated and then finally overcoming it. To like, I definitely. I get. I get where you're coming from with that, and I, I. I agree that they probably should just put a really basic difficulty system in them. Yeah. But personally, the thing that turned me off about Sekiro because it took me like five months to finally actually play it, is just that the levels suck. Like yeah. the bosses are great. The bosses are wonderful, but the levels are just so bland. I don't. I. Uh, I can't. De definitely I can't do agree it. on some of them. Like I think the um, what's it called? Uh, the final level. Um, Iron Head Palace. Oh my god, what's it even called? It's the like when you when you go Fountain up on Head the big tree or not tree guy, but like rope. Fountainhead guy. Palace. Fountainhead Palace. Thank you. That level yeah, yeah. is very cool. Uh, no, it, it definitely looks cool, but I mean, in terms of, like, design and what the combat is centered around, I've never found that I got into any sort of, like, flow with the levels. Like, when you play Dark Souls, you're, 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 you're exploring methodically, you're, like, slowly moving around, you're fighting slowly, and um, you're searching for items and such. In Sekiro, it's just kind of like... Oh, jump I'm around, already... jump on a building. Well, it's like you're not even leveling up, and you don't need any items, so you're just looking for the boss, right? Like, your only yeah. goal is to find the boss. You have no... There's no RPG mechanics, or at least the ones there are aren't very good. So it just sort of feels pointless. I definitely isn't... can't disagree uh, level design-wise. Oh which my isn't God. to say that all the levels are bad. It's just that, like, coming from Dark Souls 1 and Demon Souls in particular, where the levels were, like, the whole game... Yes, it's definitely a different type of game. Sekiro could have been a boss rush. I love Sekiro though. Like the the Very music, good. the music is so cool. Um, the combat is. I, I definitely don't want Dark Souls to play that way, but I appreciate what it is for its for its own thing. Um, sure, sure. You mean the posture system. Yeah, it's very unique and cool. Um, oh my god, I just got fucking uh, clobbered ruined time. by those guys. Um, yeah, like the. The, it, the posture system took a long time for me to get. Like, I, I definitely hit the wall with um, Genichiro that, like, you're supposed to. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, was, I sure did, too. Because I was playing the game like Dark Souls, and you're, it's <laughs> telling you not to do that. Mm-hmm. Because I did, yeah, I I did, I... I did Madam Butterfly without, like, before I beat Genichiro. And, oh, like, and you did that with dodging? Yeah, I was able to cheese it enough. Um, but Genichiro is like impossible to do that with. He sure is. Yeah, there's um, I remember. I I mean, with me, it was even Masataka, like a uh, Gyobu. Even him was. Even he was. I didn't. Impossible. I didn't have too much of a hard time with him. Uh, for some reason, like I was just able to use the tools to to fuck him up. Oh, oh! Tools. I never, I never, I never ever used the shinobi tools. I, I used them left, a lot. I, never upgraded them. I definitely That's used them funny. a lot. Like they were essential for me beating um, what's his face, uh, Sword Saint Ishin. Like, yeah. Holy, f that fucking fight! Oh my god. Seventy tries. Seventy tries. It took it took me like an entire night. Like I remember getting to him at like eleven o'clock and being like, "Oh, this might take me a while," and I didn't beat him until like three in the morning. <laughs> I was so angry. <laughs> uh, 
All right. Well, in any case, uh, do you mind if I ask you a few more questions about yeah, this? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. So, one of one of the the primary concerns I have is that people will just be bored by it. You have to assure me that you're enjoying it or whatever. I believe you. But mm. the main thing I'm curious about is what do you think as as far as like um what's the kind of thing that would keep you coming back to a game like this definitely um like combat flow for sure so like mm. and, and maybe even text uh like little mi minimum text or minimalist text gotcha. like just to kind of gotcha. keep me keep forward momentum i mean like plot shit. honestly yeah, yeah. yeah like as it is I, I do I am just curious by looking at it like what's going on and, and wanna and wanna do stuff just you know based on like oh what's over there what's over there so like oh well, let's... yeah you wouldn't you wouldn't even need as far as I can tell like too much uh incentive to go exploring because it looks cool uh the colors are really mm -hmm. are really pretty and and bright and like there's there's places to go you know there's there's things to gotcha. see well, I do appreciate that but if you wouldn't mind giving me something uh negative like yeah. what would what it what, what what feels like it's missing to you because i mean it's not a done game so no matter yeah, what you yeah. say like, things will be added it's not like i'm gonna release it otherwise i am certainly um <laughs> patrick just said now i'd prefer yakuza and have seven hours of cutscenes. <laughs> i think that's, that's what yeah that's what we're doing we're doing motion captured cutscenes in full 3d that's what for we're this. missing and i and i really needed to have like kind of broken facial animation just so just for sure add a little something something but no, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I I think what you were saying about having like more omnidirectional rolling or at least eight directional or mm. eight directional movement that could definitely revolutionize like movement in this game for sure. Um, okay. So like that, I I would say I'm I'm okay with as it is now, but that would definitely make it even even more fun to play. It's just having that gotcha. in your in your toolbox. Um, mm -hmm. Another thing I could say was like maybe happen mm, I, I don't even know if signs are necessary like at this point like maybe later when the game has more expansive rooms um oh like signposting gotcha. yeah oh yeah or or even like npcs uh of some kind we'll, yeah we'll, we'll definitely do that as well like just just like because like oh my god hollow knight is so cool with that um, Oh, nice NPCs are wonderful. Yeah, there's there's always like some little interesting dude happening, and like even just like a little tiny animation to, to give them a little personality, like goes goes a long way. I I feel. Yeah, we haven't done an idle animation for the player yet either. That would be really cool too. Like just just like little well, little touches like that. Fun. Absolutely, I I love to see those. Um, but then even on like the really basic level, like mm -hmm. what are like some like if, if you don't have to like. Like, obviously, if you don't have any super specific suggestions, that's fine. But, like, what are the kinds of things where you'd be like, dude, what if, what if, what if I could do this? Or what if I, because, like, one of the things we're toying with is potentially giving you a, um, a long range attack that takes HP to use. Ooh, that would be that very cool. Thing. Um, so basically, we want to make the combat not feel as, I mean, it's going to be somewhat repetitive if it's a 2D game, but we want to find ways to make it, like, continually interesting. Even, even, like, a little basic magic system would be sick. Okay. So like, like, like you yeah. said, a projectile of some kind that takes HP. That's cool for sure. Um, yeah, yeah, it definitely. We would tie that stuff to HP rather because the idea is that we want you to be constantly trying to kill enemies to gain more yeah. HP. So if you tie that to HP, you'll have even more reasons to do it. So yeah, we could even do more than one spell. That's yeah, like, it, like don't definitely don't make it like Demon Souls magic system. No, 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 because no. <laughs> it's way no. too good. It's just too good. There will be no RPG. No, it's not an RPG. That's for sure. Yeah, like yeah, a projectile that does damage sounds very interesting. I I'm certainly not like a game designer uh, guy or game critique guy, so like oh, that's fine. But you any know, any you suggestions know, even because like I I haven't you found could... anything anything so far that I hate or anything like that. Um, well, that's good. Definitely I mean, those little these little that. fuckers little, though. These little fuckers yeah, the on little the right. Balls. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> those guys need to be uh, need to yeah. It should probably be that if you. If you knock them off of you, it should probably be pretty fucking easy to kill them. Yeah, like, oh, sorry. Like, we like curse on here. Say what? Cursing cool? Oh, absolutely. I said the F word way too much. Uh, okay, good. In my daily life, I can't stop. Oh, and also, uh, pumpkin patches. You're the one. You're watching this. Uh, do you have? Even just from watching this, are there things mm -hmm. about it that you're like that doesn't look quite right to me? And they can be as simple as like a sword attack doesn't hit as strongly enough that kind of thing like we've been toying around with the uh the cur the speed curve on enemies as they get knocked backward i don't know if you noticed it's different in this version 
I I haven't yet, uh, but probably no, just because totally my fine. my eye is not very keen when it comes to these things. Yeah, it, it basically, it went from a linear bonk speed to an exponential, the decreasing bonk speed, which has also caused some glitches because now enemies, yeah. I'm Aww. sorry, I'm just trying to kill these, these little dudes. They said they're, they said they're, oh, that's so nice. Funkin' Patches. In, 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 in the real world, uh, Patches is one of my my best friends. Oh, well, they're known, very kind. I've known Patches for, since I was 19, and I am 26, almost 27 now. So it's it's been a, it's been a long time. Uh, well, whatever the case, it is very affirming to even watch you play this, because you're playing it exactly the way I play it, which is what I was hoping would happen. Yeah, I'm, I'm having a very good time with it. Like, it's, oh, good, it's good. very neat. And like talking to you about it is extra fun, too. Like, I, I've never talked to a game developer about their game, so it's very neat to do that. I hope that I can actually be a game developer soon. We'll get there. Yeah, this is really cool. Uh, well, thank you. I, I know I've said it like 5,000 times, but I genuinely mean it. It's very, very fun to play it. It's it's neat. Thank you. Um, maybe even... I, really I have not been sprinting as much as I should. So maybe... That's um, an... We gotta find reasons to do that. Yeah, like maybe if it didn't... Because like stamina is so finite. So um, yeah, I should probably make it take way less stamina than it does. Yeah, it's like very, um, it's very hard to do both. I'm gonna try to implement it a little more just so we can take a look though, because I always forget to do it. I just roll instead. Oh, I, I don't use it. I never use it at all when I'm testing it. You're totally right. Like that's something I definitively like. I think what I'll probably do is since you already can't attack while you're sprinting without stopping, it'll probably just be sprinting takes one stamina. That's probably what it'll be. You could even do a sprint attack to, to incentivize it. We um, are planning that. Yeah, that's a good idea. Thank yeah. you for for one. Yeah, like I I definitely have not been using. I like forgot about it completely. <laughs> <laughs> um. So like either either yeah, making it less and or adding a sprinting attack to to incentivize using it. I might give myself a little health because I just want to fight the crocodile man again. Um. I see crocodile man. He's just a he's just a log crocodile. He's just a crocodile. <laughs> Whatever you want to call him is totally... Uh, I, always, I always find it fascinating, like, when games didn't have clear, like, internet fan bases, just, like, learning what stuff was... Like, coming up with names for the things in the game. You're oh, like, yeah. oh, the shark name. Colossus so had I like that, for sure. Uh, I know people right? had, like, all their cool names for the Colossi. Yeah, yeah. There's, let's see. I don't even think the Colossi have official names. I don't They remember. definitely don't. Uh, I know people, like... The first one's called like Valus, and the last one's called Malice. Uh, mm. They all have like those, you know, very Latin names for for the yeah, fan, like the fan base, not not the actual yeah. devs. Um, it's like Avian was the fifth one, or something like and, that. Yeah, Avion. That's my favorite one. Is is Avion? Yeah. Like what uh, a fucking you... cool fight! <laughs> it is a very good one. Uh, you mentioned the um, that you would be interested in eight directional movement. Yes. So I want to. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to mention some stuff about it and then ask you how you feel about it afterwards. But basically, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to try to justify why I didn't put it in, but I'm also totally open to putting it in. Sure. So I want you to give me your honest opinion whether these reasons make sense, and if they don't, that's fine, and uh, yada yada. So basically, what we were thinking was we want every time you press a button to be like an important decision, mm -hmm. right? We don't want it just like strafing around, running around for no reason. So we wanted, So that's why the attacks are really slow. It's mm -hmm. like, like the Dark Souls type of thing. Yeah, so very, very, uh, very intentional movement. Yeah, so the idea behind four directional movement was to be like, well, you can't just walk toward two things at once. You have to pick one. And mm -hmm. the idea with the stabbing attack animation is you can't just attack in front of you. You have to line up the attack. So that's sort of why we chose four directional. And at this point, I certainly could... Oh, and the other reason is that it's a lot easier to animate four sprites than it is to animate eight sprites. And you could do the Link <laughs> to the Past bit where you just sort of slide sideways, but it doesn't look great. Yeah, it looks and it so, definitely looks better when you have the actual animated movement. Yeah. So we have tested eight directional movements, and it does flow a little cleaner, but it also feels a little less unique, you know? Like mm -hmm. it's um like it like it almost makes me feel like, oh, why are the tiles squares if I can move in an octagon? Mm -hmm. And so the reason I'm leaning toward keeping it four directional is to give it some, like, more than anything else, to give it a unique flavor, you know? Like, it's sort of, like, iconic, you know? Mm -hmm. But also, if it's just annoying, that's bad. <laughs> so I certainly don't want um, iconography to come at the expense of it being playable. 
I think I think um, I'd I'd be happy to play a version that has the the movement, and I would tell you like directly like what what I thought was more fun to play. But gotcha. say what? Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, I'm just but um, nodding. Yeah, like I can't I can't say if if uh, a, an eight directional version would be better. Uh, it would certainly be different. Um, I, I I would I would like to to play test it for sure. Um, just to, okay, well, just, to, just to play with it, but yeah, like I, I think your justifications yeah. are fair. Um, but again, like it would, it would just depend on like how much more fun yeah. it would be, or not, or not as fun. It, I yeah, was even yeah, thinking yeah, it yeah. might make it too easy if enemies weren't that's, optimized to uh, to handle that's, the, the. Yeah, that's the other thing. Is it's a different, it's a different programming task to work with that as well. Yeah, but I have, I mean, if it's worth it, it's worth it, you know. Yeah, but like, yeah. certainly, I can see why not. Like, well, you wouldn't want to change it just based on like how the game currently works, because like, if if you yeah, can kill you enemies, yeah, if you can kill enemies in a way they can't kill you, then that's maybe not the kind of game you want to make. You know, like yeah, I want the opposite. I want yeah. enemies to kill you like with the little puff balls that move around in uh, 120 directions. Yeah, they're supposed to be annoying as hell because you're like, fuck, it's like when you're trying to hit a gnat in the air and you're like, I can't reach it. Why does it keep flying away from me, you know? No, I totally I totally get like not wanting to change it if the, the point is for it to be, you know, very punishing. Yeah. Kind of like like an SMT or Persona game where like if, the en if you can do things to the enemy that they can't do to you, then that's not fair. So the game, you know, is like anything you can do to them, they can also do to you unless you have the prerequisite resistance. So like, hmm. it's very. I didn't know that about games. Oh man, SMT is very fun. I mean, it's it's a um, you know, mostly turn based. The series is mostly turn based. So like, like Persona's from is is a spin off of uh, the Shin Megami right, Tensei right. franchise. But like, not unlike Pokemon, like anything, everything has like kind of a rock paper scissors quality. Um, mm -hmm. And like they like enemies hit really hard, uh, but so can you. Gotcha. And so, like, you have to, and you have to uh, really take advantage of their weaknesses, or else you're gonna gonna get fucked most of the time. Sure, it's, sure. It's very neat, and like that's what I'm seeing so far here. Like, and it's not turn based, but uh, oh yeah, Patches is saying he don't he doesn't know if it'd be worth changing oh. it. Thank you, thank you, Pumpkin Patches. That's very that's very good. Fuck off, the guns. <laughs> All but my perfect world squares. Yeah, I want a, I want six directional movements. <laughs> yeah, actually, only six directions, please. <laughs> yeah, the pro yeah, the problem with that is, of course, that you can't go up and down, <laughs> or or you can't go up and right, depending on which way you choose. But <laughs> now this is this is definitely cool, though. Like, I I would so, love to play. Very uh, a more intense question. So let's say I didn't make this. Would you play it? Yeah, totally. This is cool. Like, would you? Sorry, would you buy it? Um. Yeah, probably. Okay, especially, especially if like my friends told me to buy it. Like the only reason I played Undertale I... was because my friend was like, "You have to play Undertale." Yeah, same with me in Hollow Knight. Yeah. Yeah, and then I played it, and I was like, "Oh, this is really fucking cool. I like everything that's going on." And that kind of like yeah. opened my mind up to different kinds of games in general, like what I would enjoy. Oh, nice. That's really cool. Yeah, indie games are good for that. They really are, and I haven't even played that many. I've played Hollow Knight. I've played Night in the Woods. I've played. And the wood. Shit. Yeah, it really is. It's cool. Uh, the only, I, I, the only thing I don't I like about it. Night in the Woods right. is just. Oh, sorry. I'm. 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 I didn't mean to interrupt. No, we're, both, we're both doing it. It's hard. Yeah. The only. The only thing I don't like about Night in the Woods is just how long a day can take. Um, oh. Because like I want to do everything in the game. I don't want to miss anything. Uh, even though there's like no way you can get everything without. Uh, like multiple playthroughs but like i wanted to see like everything in the town and there's just so much every day that changes yeah that's true that's true which is like there's a certain sense in which like that's the allure that yeah. there will be things you never see but there's another sense in which when people play video games they start doing checklists you know yeah and and i don't you, like well, doing you that find a way, you want to find a way to incentivize doing whatever you feel like without feeling like you have a checklist. That's the dream. Yeah, and, and the thing I, I kept finding myself doing is I'd be playing the game and I'd be being like, I don't know if this one thing changed, and it would be a huge pain in the ass to check it, but I want to anyway right. to see. Like, right, um, like yeah. the rat thing, where you, you like save the rats uh, in that in that one apartment. Yeah, like getting back to them is a in like there's things that change with them. 
So like getting back to them is a huge pain in the ass, but like I wanted to know if they were okay. Yeah, yeah. And that's one of those things where like, I'm so glad the rats are in there, but I don't like, I, I think about that kind of design issue all the time and I have no idea how to solve that particular problem. So I'm just not putting those things in my game. <laughs> they're not gonna be in here. We, we definitely intend to have plenty of secrets, but they're all going to be, like, one-and-done things. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, because, like, the idea of having to check back on something, and, and not and not really having any, like, incentive other than, like, your own curiosity, that is both good yeah. and bad. Like, Right. I think that it's that's... It's really cool if you're the one guy who finds the thing, yeah. but it really sucks checking and you don't. Because, like, I don't always... Just because of how life works, I don't always go back and play games. So, like, I recently sure. found out that near Automata has like there was like a secret cheat and it was like getting to the very end of the game with everything but you have to put in a really specific button press but like i've played the fuck out of that game exhaustively so i don't mm -hmm. i don't want to like do it again i don't want to play the game again just to do that just to find like sure, a secret sure. cheat as cool as i think okay. it is and like maybe that's okay. fine but like i i like to get my my money's worth out of a game and go back to your life yeah yeah exactly oh, or new games mentioned. even Cash has just mentioned that if we have good box art, which is, in our case, means good Steam logo art, which, uh, well, theoretically, if you're interested in doing the promo art, uh, I, now it's on you. I would love <laughs> to make promo art for this game. It looks so cool. Yeah, obviously, when we get close to the Kickstarter, we can, like, talk about that and confirm it and stuff, but I really appreciate that. No, I, I would love to work on it. Thank you for even, like, uh, considering me as an option, because I, and I know I basically was just like, can't, like, I'd love to do it. But. Oh, I mean, I mean, I... I I, I'm glad that you're flattered by that, but it's not like, it's, it's, there's not a line. Yeah. <laughs> it's not a significant game. <laughs> well, I hope it becomes one. I mean, I, I don't, like, it's not as robust as Hollow Knight, but obviously the dream is always to be the next Hollow Knight. Oh, it's so cool, yeah. Like, I, yeah. I love that game a lot. I, I would love for you to be as success, successful as Team Cherry, for sure. Like, that would be crazy. It'd be dope. I think a more realistic goal is to be the next minute. Have you played Minute? I haven't. Is it is it pretty cool? What's what's it like? Yeah, it's a, a little tiny Zelda like, but it's like you play it one minute at a time. So after every minute you die, and you get your respawn at the last checkpoint. And so you you basically it's a bunch of little like it's a bunch of little interesting puzzle fetch quests, and a couple of enemies scattered throughout, and in like a little like um in a tiny like Link to the Past esque world, and you have a minute to solve. You basically you play the game in one minute at a time. So there's not a task in the game that takes more than one minute. And you just try to do one every single cycle. That's so cool. And the fat, it's really, really fun. Like it's like an hour and a half long, and it's just like a perfect little game. That is Except very neat. V-sync bugs, so it stutters every minute. But that's okay. It's great. Yeah, that sounds really neat. I, I there's one indie game that I need to check out that is called Piku Niku that I've seen a little bit of. Oh, I've heard of that. And yeah. it, my uh, friends, actually the friend I'm visiting tomorrow, her fiance um, showed me Piku Niku, and I was like, oh, this is sick. This is very neat. <laughs> oh, you need to make this more like Hoonie Pop? <laughs> Wait, what's Hoonie Pop? Hoonie Pop is like a porn game. <laughs> oh, no. I it's it. like, oh, no. It's like porn bejeweled. Um, ah, we, so it is. No more of that. We had a, um, we, like a long time ago, we, we were at a party in college. Yeah, definitely kidding, says Patch. If it wasn't clear, we we went to a like I we like he Pumpkin Patch has hosted a party in college where like at a certain point it was like people just getting drunk and high, and like you know it was kind of winding down, so we were like, oh, let's play like some PC games, and I was I, it, Patrick explained to me what Honey Pop was, and I was like, oh, that sounds disgusting. Let's play it. <laughs> <laughs> so we you know put, how it goes. Yeah, we put it on the TV and like just basically played through a solid portion of Honey Pop, and it's just like <laughs> it's just like talk to the like the the whole point is you play little bejeweled games th and and also do visual style novel conversations, and the whole point is to like get to know this this person enough to fuck them, and that's the oh, game. of course it's amazing. <laughs> it's like, that's the whole game, and they're like weird kind of like. I don't want to say terrible anime character art, but like not not the best even. Not great. But like yeah, yeah, yeah. that's that's the whole game. It's just that, and it's very <laughs> funny. Like it is legitimately um, a funny mind, game. Sorry, uh, would you mind trying to fight the crocodile from below? Oh sure. Let me let me get down there. Yeah. Oh no. 
I definitely want people to have the um to have the option, but the below way is definitely cooler. Yeah, it's it's like a little more uh, cinematic. Yeah, too. yeah, that's the idea. No, this is cool. I am I am of course getting my my ass handed to me, but you know that's 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 the way it is. That, that's just the way it is. <laughs> Dialogue. Yeah. Oh, I, yeah, I'm curious. Is getting so. As you said, getting your ass handed to you. Is it the kind, is it the Dark Souls kind where you feel like it's fair and you're learning? Or is it the kind where you're frustrated and you're like, why do I keep getting hit? I am certainly not too frustrated. Um, and I, I think it is sort of like the Dark Souls kind where, like, you, because I've gotten a little better at this game just by playing it. And it's mm -hmm. like, that's the goal. You know, it's like wanting to see yeah, more yeah. stuff. Um, like, I was very excited when I saw the, the, alli the alligator, the log alligator. Good, good. The, the Alog Gator. Yeah, we call him we call him Log Gator and Crocolog. Oh, would you cute. mind if I fight him with the basic four HP though? I will try my best. All um, right, if, if you would, if, if if it's a terrible experience, don't. But I would love to watch you just do that over and over again until you get it. Hell yeah! Cool, cool. Because that's that's kind of the way I can know like okay, so which attacks do I need to slow down? That kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me let me uh, get killed a bunch of times probably. Oh, yeah. Come on. Yeah, I already have three HP because of that little uh, <laughs> perfect <laughs> the, the spiky guy. <laughs> it's all right. We're gonna we're gonna do our best here. I put those spikes there because everyone kept going straight up first, and I was like, I don't want you to try to fight the boss first. That was supposed to scare you away. Oh yeah, he's already. I'm already gonna die. It's okay. Good. Um, good. Let me try again, and and this time try to not uh, get hit by these little little guys. Maybe if I if I do this. And then do it. There we go. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Oh yeah, you figured it out. Good, good. It's almost like a puzzle, but not really. It's a little puzzly. Which is the goal, kind of, because like I like I like three D Zelda games, I really do. But the puzzles always sort of feel out of place to me. I'm like, what well, why are there puzzles in this game? And why are there yeah. puzzles in this world? And so I, <laughs> I, I, I like the idea of like hiding them in the environment more. And doing fewer of them, but still having them, you know? I mean, I certainly love uh, Dark Souls-style puzzles where it's just like, no, it's really just go find the other end of this door. <laughs> <laughs> or, or light a torch. Yeah, light, yeah, yeah. Light, light, light enough the... of the torches so you can you can go do the thing. Maybe the really iconic one where you have to put the Abyss Ring on. Oh, yes! Oh, that my God. Cool. Dark Souls is 1 is, is so much... It's so good. It is cool. Oh man, I totally missed that guy. Come on. Come on, buddy. There he is. Oh no. He done he done rolled he used me. To really easy to cheese, which is why I gave him that blue attack. Which I clearly will be animated eventually. Oh. I I maybe may be able to kill him this way. Yeah. Oh, got this. No, no. <laughs> so close. All right. No, I mean, yeah, he has seven health, I think. You yeah, think you're? I think you had one left. Yeah, just from what uh, I've seen so far, I think that this is more Dark Souls combat than, uh, you know, uh, just frustrating. Like it's, it is like something you can Good. learn. Good. I've not been like playing right, super well because like I'm, I'm also talking and like sure, not, sure, right, not focusing too. too much on it. And I'll, but, the crocodile's in about as hard of a spot as he could be. Which, which you know, <laughs> is probably the point. We're gonna use him, like, the crocodile's a mini-boss. He's gonna show up more than once, so this will probably be his, like, prime form. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, he'll be a big o in a big open space the first time you see him, that kind of thing. Hell yeah. Do you want to meet my daughter got... briefly, uh, Barry? She's, sure! She is... Is it a baby? She's got a, a baby? little baby. She... Come on, well, I'll be seeing her 20 seconds after you talk. Hell yeah. Alright, Ava. Come on. <laughs> can't can't see yet. All right, she's coming. She's coming. <gasps> Wake up. Wake up, sweetie. Hello, hello, child. She's just so little. That is an adorable child. She is pretty cute. And I, I, I have to say, like, you know, people tell me she's cute, and I, I can only agree. <laughs> I, I, I can only agree with her. She's very cute. And I would say cuter than a lot of babies. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna be, <laughs> I'm gonna make a statement here. Number She's one baby, 10 out of 10. She's very nice. Very nice baby. 
Yeah, she loves games. She shouldn't. I shouldn't show them to her. Yeah. But she <laughs> she does think they're pretty cool. Video oh, games oh, are shit. I'm getting I'm getting killed. Oh no! Oh, don't killed. worry about it. No. I it's totally... good to see you, Ava. Good to meet you. She's very cute. Yeah. I'm going to give myself four health just just so we can yeah, do this. Go ahead, do that. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Just do it. Do do the right way for this big old crocky. Mm -hmm. Crocodilimus, as they say. Hold on. Let me give myself a little room here. I do think I could probably use the run to to make this a little less. Oh well. Fuck me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now you probably just want to use the roll. Yeah, roll is the best. <laughs> ah, damn. Yeah. He does. He does hit real hard. Um, but I mean that's that's fine. That's that's the name of the game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the game is called Hit Real Hard. <laughs> it is. Yeah. He hit yeah, hard. He currently has the only two damage attack in the game, so we'll see. It's very cool. And I, I think he's very neat to, to look at, also. I think they should get a gun in this part. We're <laughs> <laughs> talking like a machine gun? Like, oh, yeah, like yeah. a sub automatic rifle? What, 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 do you, what do you think? <laughs> Definitely just like a machine gun right now. Yeah. Just, I, do, I do think it'll be a good idea to give you the thing where you can take one damage to shoot a bullet. No, that is pretty cool. No, not a literal bullet, but you know. <sighs> Yeah, the other thing we're thinking about is how to do our bonfire system, and the thing we've been discussing is, like, well, the idea is that the game will be balanced a little better, so you'll be gaining health rather than losing it if you're careful. And so the, oh. the thought is that every time you sit at a bonfire, you lose all your extra health and you get set back to four. And you can oh. spend those extra health points on, like, like, on temporary, like, boosts. So, like, until your next bonfire, your roll goes slightly further, or like basically you'd be a you'd be equipped with Hollow Knight charms based on points you got. That's fucking cool. Yeah, any That's any kind of idea. like additional uh, abilities you can get in the game that they're just like, I mean, not unlike Sekiro, where it's like you get you get like a new skill you can do, or you get like a, a slight boost to something. Sure. Yeah, that's cool. I, I like that. Yeah, like a slightly need... faster roll is neat. Yeah, you wouldn't hold on to these. Like they, they would. Yeah. Be, you, you would find them in the world, and they would be equipable via one health point that you gained yeah. throughout the throughout the level you were in. No, that so, is cool. it, yeah. So you'd be equipping little charms, and yeah, it'd be, and also stuff like, hey, if you want to start with more stamina, use a health for that. That kind of thing. I th that that kind of almost sounds like Hades as well, where like you get oh, temporary. Yeah. You haven't played it yet. No, I'm such a loser. I think we have talked about this actually. You, 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 I tweeted about asking people to recommend it because I already own it and I just want to play it and I just can't get myself to do it. It's so cool, dude. And you were like, yeah, play it. it's good. And I was like, thank you. No, and then I didn't. It's sick, dude. I love Hades. I think I almost got the croc that time too. I just keep getting killed. Yeah, you, were, you had him at one HP again. Oh, you killed him. You killed him. You both died. <laughs> oh, nice. I love that. Yeah. So what do you think as far as like the range of the attack and everything? Does it feel about right or does it feel too short or too long? I think the range is probably okay. And like that's part of it. It's like being precise enough to get to get the enemy where where you need them mm -hmm. to be. Like that's that's part of the the challenge, I, I suppose. Cheyenne, what's going on, hey. dude? Hell Who's yeah. Cheyenne? Cheyenne is one of my best friends. I have known her for a very long time. How how long, Cheyenne? Like, since we were, like, 15, 16? Like, almost 12 years, maybe? We've been really Hooray. good friends for, like, 10 of those years, though. We were just, like, casual acquaintances for, for two of them. To, to all the new people who just showed up, my name is Barry Herbers, and this is a video game I'm making based yeah. on Zelda and Dark Souls that doesn't have a name yet. Maybe we'll call it Dwindle Lands Unsure. But, yeah. Uh, follow me at Odd Sloth on Twitter. <laughs> Please do. Yeah, Barry. Barry is my Twitter pal. We uh, talk about video games uh, pretty often on there, and this is his game, and it's very cool. Yeah. It's like a Zelda Souls like. You're probably about to see me get killed by this alligator. Oh, thank you. Thank you all for thank you all for the interest. Yeah, you can. Uh, I mean, I, I I hate to just like promote myself the second your people show up, but like. <laughs> no, please yeah, feel you, free. You, feel yeah. free to plug. Yeah, Barry yeah, is cool. Follow me. At Barry Herbers, so it's uh, at Barry Herbers. I just I can 
post it in the chat in a yeah, second. Yeah, feel I think free I to feel free to post the uh, the the Twitter in the app, in in the in the yeah, chat. So, in the app, and yeah, I'm working. I'm I am programming this on my own with the help of my friend Austin, who's doing the pixel art for things like you're seeing that giant log gator. We beat the log and gator so, without dying too, with just the four health. Hooray! We did it. And you got an extra health out of it. I I've never been prouder, honestly. Yeah, you've never been prouder. <laughs> Yeah, so you know, follow me, follow me on Twitter if you are interested in following this game at all. I just posted my Twitter handle in the chat. Yeah, and, uh, I I found out about this game from Twitter, and I was like, "This is very cool, Barry. Can I play it?" Yeah. So <laughs> thank you all for uh, coming by at such a convenient time. No, it's super sick. Yeah, it's it's very cool. Yeah, follow Barry on Twitter for sure. The weatherman yeah. is is a good boy. And I Please did. Crew is my game i'm trying to make it better right now i'm at the point where basically i'm <laughs> polishing up the base mechanics and i want them to be as solid as possible before yeah. i actually make <laughs> there was a good so 20 I'm... minutes where you're just like please please be mean about it <laughs> yeah i need to know what needs to change so if there's stuff you're like that looks stupid please tell me that's the dream that's the goal right now i, I get, i'm having oddly play it because it's 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 like it plays fine but it's it doesn't feel to me like it's not like hyper light drifter level good yet, and I want I want to get there. It's very cool so far though, for sure, Barry, and and I I'm confident you. that you'll get there. And also, I'll I'll play as much as many versions as you want. Ah, uh, you know, I, I think it would be you have to push you back a tile so you have to be conscious of it. Oh, that's a really good point. Oh, I think that's fantastic points, Patrick. That's very good. Yeah. Patches mm -hmm. always has very, very nice additions, nice commentary. Yeah, because the the thing I'm thinking about with it right now is basically like, you you it would be bound to a third button, and if you press the button, it shoots out immediately, and it's like wide, but it goes kind of slowly. And the longer you hold it down, the faster it goes, and the uh, smaller it gets. So per perhaps if you just press the button, it launches you back. But if you hold down the button and like situate yourself like you're fucking getting a sniper rifle ready. Then yeah, maybe you don't get pushed back. That kind of thing. that's a very good that's a very good idea. So you have to be conscious about what you're using. I'm actually gonna write that down. <laughs> that's very cool. Patch, you're, uh, you're uh, once again not pulling in clutch. Player. Sixteen pixels. Ah. All right, I'm gonna yeah, tell try me. to avoid and probably die anyway. Oh, there we go. Goodbye, okay. goodbye, beautiful character. Ooh, my sweetheart is graduating his bachelor in games development in Australia next month. It looks so difficult, but it's amazing to see the progress. Yeah, I, I have to say just right off the right out, you know, like game design is so hard. And I'm very impressed with what you've got, Barry. Like this is so cool. Thank you. If you had to say like what is what is like the thing if if I had to on a positive note, if I were to focus on just one thing going forward, what do you think is like the draw of this while you're playing it? What about it is fun? Um, definitely, like, the, the environment, uh, like, being kind of inviting looking, uh, like, I'm, I'm immediately drawn in this room to explore, like, there's, there's already stuff to look at, it's like, oh, like, when I, when I first played it, I was like, can I, can I break the rocks, like, I was just kind of exploring the environment, the character's very nice to look at, like, mm -hmm. she's just a little, little cool, a little cool dude, she's cool, she's neat. Oh, okay, cool. So for you, it's like the aesthetic of the world is what's drawing yeah, you in, Yeah, the aesthetic right? draws me in, and then, like, the actual combat. I, I as you know, am a, a big Souls fanboy. So, like, I already kind of have, like, the idea of what this game is just based on, like, how enemies move, how hard they hit, how little health I have compared to. Like, it's very neat. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you. That's that's very kind. So, yeah. And, and the so rolling is uh, cool. Like also, the, the sprites look very nice. The animation's nice. Oh, goodbye, goodbye again, little sword, sword gal. Um, oh, she died. <laughs> yeah, I, I oh. keep getting killed because I'm just tooling around and not paying attention. But <laughs> that's fine. It's cool. Like this game is neat, uh, and I can't wait to see more versions of it too. I'm, I'm gonna keep playing it for a little bit. Just Thank show you. people yeah, what's yeah. going on. Try to kill, kill the gator again. Let everybody see him die. Let's kill that gator. Let's see the yeah. gator get oh thank you for the follow me and friends thank you all right that's oh, I got, very nice i got hit i'm gonna i'm gonna try to kill the bugs without dying and then give myself a little more debug health just so we can we all can right. do four four health for the gator two people in the chat did follow me i just followed you guys back thank you Sweet. very much oh, right. you know that's what left us twitter you have to follow people back <laughs> you, you definitely do 
If you guys want to follow <laughs> me on Twitter too, I won't. I won't be upset. I have. I don't have that many followers. <laughs> I'm following you on Twitch, Grillium. Yeah, that. There we go. Oh, follow did you me draw on Twitch and Twitter. Zombie? Say what? Did you draw the little pixel zombie that goes when you get a follower? I did not. That's just the default uh, for Twitch. Oh, I wish. I wish I was a pixel artist though. I, I have been thinking about getting into it, just playing your game. Honestly, this is cool. Oh. It looks neat. Yeah, pixel art is great. It's hard. Like, I, I, I can do a little bit of it, but my, my friend who does the art here, he definitely, he was definitely a, like a um, comp, like comic booky art mm -hmm. first, first and foremost, but he got into pixel art lately because he hangs out with a bunch of programmers, and so they keep asking him to do art, so he's had to learn pixel art. That's so cool. And, uh, the thing, the, 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 the main thing he talks about is basically just that, like, before you make the pixel art, you decide what the most basic geometry you could possibly think of to represent what your drawing is, and you just pixel for that. That's like, pretty you, cool. You, you don't have a lot of, you, you're not gonna, you don't have a lot of space to work with, so you just want to make the most basic, clear shapes possible. Unless you're doing the totally different style where the idea of the pixel art is that things are ambiguous, and that's a totally different ballgame. But what he's yes. doing is making shapes. Like, you can look at the rocks. There's, like, six clear rocks. He didn't just make, like, a gravel texture. I once again have killed the Gata. Yes. So now you've learned him. See, that's yeah. cool. I'm glad. No, yeah, this is definitely not unlike... Of course, we keep talking about Dark Souls because it's in the name. It's, like, <laughs> it's Zelda Souls, basically. But, um... Like, lear learning how to beat something is so satisfying, just inherently. Like, yeah, you, you yeah. fight something, you die, you die first, and you're like, well, but, like, I got closer that time. And you just keep trying mm -hmm. until you do it. It's very fun. Uh, there's there is something incredibly satisfying about that loop, for sure. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh, have you played any Mega Man games? I have not. I really should, because it's in this vein of, yeah. like... Yeah. Um, I, I was going to say my favorite, just because I want to talk about it, <laughs> my favorite mm -hmm. Mega Man game series is Mega Man Zero, which I started playing like when I was seven. Um, is... And like they look different than other Mega Man games in terms of art style, but the pixel art in it is so gorgeous. Um, just like a really pretty game, just in mm -hmm. that way alone. And I like playing it anyway, just because it's, it's kind of like Devil May Cry combat and Mega Man. Because Zero has a oh, big, big old sword. Zero. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so it's cool. The, yeah, with, the with the saber, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it is. Man, I love that game. Uh, oh, I died. I didn't even notice. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah. We're really happy with that death animation. It's adorable. She yeah. turns into like a little girl almost. No, I love her hair. It's so cool. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kill the log again. Duncan Patches says that the dash reminds them of Mega Man. I, is there a, like the Mega Man Zero dash, Mega Man X dash? What are we talking about? Like like this dash? You, um, I, I assume the roll, uh, or maybe it, the sprint. Is sure. it the is it the roll or the sprint you're talking about, Patch? Because this is the roll. Uh, no, that that I totally see what you're saying though. Because when you when you dash in Mega Man X or Zero, um, there's like a little a little uh, bit of dust that comes after. Uh, sprint, sprint as well. Oh, the little blue dust thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but the roll, the roll has like that little bit of dust. Well, hold on, we yeah. again. Oh, it doesn't? I thought it did. The roll, the, the roll has dust, on, but not when you're um In spat grass. rolling. Oh, because you're too slow. Spat I get you. When your stamina's out, so it's only on the real roll. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I see now. Um, yeah, there's but, like a little bit of dust that, that comes out. Different. In Mega Man, when you, uh, or sorry, Mega Man X and Zero, because in Mega Man One through, I guess eleven, you just do sliding. Uh, mm -hmm. So you, do, you don't dash in those. But if you if you are gonna check out a Mega Man game, I would definitely suggest uh, the Mega Man Zero franchise. Cause like, is it on PS3? It might be. It's definitely on Switch, on PS4, and Xbox. I think. Gotcha, gotcha. It was initially a Game Boy Advance game, but they recently released a, uh, you know, an oh, anniversary. it says it's on Wii U. It's on what? Apparently, the Wikipedia says it, Mega Man Zero is on... Oh, okay, it has a bunch of platforms now. It says Nintendo, DS, Wii U, Virtual Console, mm. PlayStation, Xbox, PC. Perfect. I can yeah. play Mega Man Zero. Awesome. I mean, they, I have um, a Yeah, they, so, they I... had, like, a an anniversary collection. I'm getting pretty good at killing the log. You can roll through them, which is great. Yeah. Um, that that yeah, that's an important one. Yeah, I've just been like doing the like go go to his face and like wait, but uh, I think I prefer uh, 
actually rolling around. Yeah, uh, oh, me and friends so says. Much. Yeah, I me and friends says the game that. is looks like a lot of fun. The animation style and flow reminds me of Moonlighter. I have not played Moonlighter, but if it is anything like this, that is that is very cool. I, Moonlighter is the one where you're like a janitor, but at night you go into a roguelike dungeon. Is that what it is? I think it's something like that. That sounds so never, cool. Yeah, there's a lot of like indie games have indie roguelikes have gotten incredibly clever. Like, I've they played are a little bit of Wizard. Um, I think that's what it's called. Like mm -hmm. that that more recent one. Oh, Wizard Wizard of Legend, maybe. Oh, wait, wait, wait. one second, one second. Sorry. Uh, Moonlighter. Yeah. So that 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 is actually one of the um. The artist, he told, that's one of the games he's literally using as a reference. Like, he, Moonlighter is is deliberately a reference for this game. He, he was like, yeah, you gotta add a role mechanic in, like Moonlighter has. Because I was like, well, the Dark Souls role, how are we gonna do that? You need a targeting system. He's like, ah, just watch a video of Moonlighter. And so, yeah, you are definitively correct. That's <laughs> yeah, so cool. That was, that was... It's always great when people guess that kind of stuff. Because Zelda and Dark Souls are obvious. But then when someone tells me, like, oh, the controls are like the Binding of Isaac, I'm like, thank you. I played the Binding of Isaac a month before I made these controls. That's so sick. You yeah, live in a yeah. village and inherit your grandfather's shop. You manage the shop by day and dungeon by night. I love the style of Moonlighter. Yeah, that that sounds really neat. I want to check that out now. Yeah. Dude, I, I fucking love how like indie games have gone have gone so far in making roguelikes feel natch like a natural like story fit. Like the way Hades like built the oh, the yeah. roguelike thing into a story. Or even like Spelunky when they were just like, Oh yeah, you're in the like magical dungeon that you can't die and it keeps random it keeps like shifting around every time you get hurt and it's it's like old rogue likes like rogue it's literally just you're restarting the game because we can't hold your save data <laughs> <laughs> yeah not not the best uh reason no no but these games have gotten really clever so that's a challenge i'm gonna i'm gonna have to come up with a reason that you don't die in this game it is so cool like when when games come up with justifications that make sense in in world for why you cannot die <laughs> Yeah, I think that's, I think, I mean, honestly, like, I mean, obviously Souls is an inspiration mm -hmm. for plenty of reasons, but honestly, I think the main thing that Demon Souls imparted to people is that everything can be a part of your story, you know? Like, yeah. Demon Souls is the first game I ever played where I was like, oh yeah, I died and went to the Nexus. Now I'm in spirit form because <laughs> I'm dead. I killed a boss and I, it, it had humanity stored inside of it, so I'm human again. Yeah. And it did it, there's a kind of immersion that comes from that that has nothing to do with sense of place, but just sort of makes, um, it just gives you the sense that everything you're looking at is meaningful. And that's really great. Yeah. <laughs> because I, I, so games. I really love Demon Souls. Even, even yeah. the, like the new one is also cool too. Um, yeah, I know, the original. I, I know we've talked about the like art style difference before, like how yeah, yeah. it not, it wasn't necessarily preserved in the, in the remake which I... Yeah, I, it's not too bad, but yeah. It's, it's definitely shame. very cool. Like, the, the remake looks mm -hmm. beautiful. Um, all the different particle effects are unbelievable looking. Like, it's a gorgeous game. Um, but there is something kind of lost with the art style, for sure. And I, sure. I, I think it's even worse in games like um, like the Shadow of the Colossus remake. Where like Yeah, I was gonna say, the one I'll go to my grave yeah. fighting for is that the Shadow of the Colossus remake should not have happened. Yeah, or, or like at the, the very movie. least... Yeah, or at the very least, like, work with the original team to kind of make the art designs, like, stay That would have been nice. Yeah. Well, it's more about the lighting than anything else. Yeah, I mean, there's... it is all everything, but they just, like... I mean, it's a good-looking game in the most basic sense, and it's a fun game in the most basic sense. I would never say that Shadow of the Colossus 2017 is bad. No, it's, it's what... definitely cool, but I, I immediately but is... was Shadow turned off by... Yeah, it's not the same game, and that's, like, such a unique game, and I hate that it's locked to a console. Yeah. Because, like, if there were already a PC remaster that was freely, av I mean, like, openly available to everybody, whatever, sure, remake it. But there's not. Like, no one can play the original version without an emulator or, or a PS3. Or doing, the sh yeah, or doing the shitty PlayStation Now subscription where you have to... Oh, God. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, I don't like it. I don't like that that's no. the way things are going. Um, no, I... Yeah. And disgustingly, like even now, they're doing like like Sony was just like, oh, we're like we're gonna get we're gonna scrap the PlayStation Three library in July, and like it, 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 
there's a part of me that's just like put an act of congress through that if the game is not available on a storefront it's free yeah like, dude like they, 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 they make they it will so hard again. like jim yeah. sterling talks about this a lot but like there's no way to preserve these games um mm -hmm. other than emulation Delicious. and yet they they try to take down as much as they can like it's technically illegal to download an, uh, an emulator or sorry a, uh, a rom that yeah. is, is yeah. not a game that you've owned before which is like if the game's not available otherwise and like nintendo or sony aren't releasing that game uh if, right. if you make it accessible people are gonna fucking buy it it's not like people yeah, don't yeah. want to buy it it's that you don't let them yeah, yeah, it's that it's not like yeah. The number of people who emulate games they they don't like that they ha the number of people who emulate games they have access to is very low. Yeah, like if people if you emulate games that they don't have access to, or if like or if like the console's kind of obsolete and like there's not as much convenience, but then that's like the legal way to emulate. So it's yeah, like like I, I'm playing Breath of the Wild on an emulator because it runs at 60 FPS, but I still like I have Breath of the Wild yeah. sitting over there. Like, I, I didn't, yeah, you, you know. Emulation is great, is what I'm getting at. And I, <laughs> it fills my heart with rage that it's not okay. No, like, it's it's not like a, it's not really even controversial to say at this point, but like, emulation should just be, you know, just do it. <laughs> just emulate if you can. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Cause Lie like, to the people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm not, I'm not advocating for piracy outright. Uh, but if the game's not available, <laughs> that's what you got to do. It's and if the game is available, do. yeah. Like if they're not like, there's a game on. There's so many actually. There's so many games on PS2 and PS1 that like you can't fucking play mm. them. You can't play them unless you have those consoles, and unless you're yeah, like, or... unless you're like a retro aficionado and like know exactly where to get those things. Or if the games aren't like five hundred dollars, you know that then you can play them. But like that's a, that's a very difficult thing to try to sell to people. You'd be like, oh, you should play Xeno Gears. You can't find it anywhere. Uh, except for like on eBay for three hundred dollars, but totally play Xeno Gears. Like it's not fair. It's not reasonable. Right, right. Or one of one of the uh, examples I uh, often I, I like one of the examples I uh, not example one of the uh, the things that really there was a moment where games preservation seemed like it was going to be fine mm -hmm. because like the virtual console existed and. So did and Sony kept releasing PS1 games and PS2 games emulated on the PS3, and you're like, yeah. okay, cool. So we're gonna be able to play these games forever. And then two things happened. One, there were some really successful remakes with the Crash Bandicoot Insane trilogy and the Spyro trilogy. And two, Nintendo released that fucking little like NES handheld, and suddenly they were like, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. These old games have more value as like um. As, as limited edition items yeah and so suddenly we're back to the point where just like with just like with netflix streaming we're back to the point where like you have to you have to you have to you have to go pirate the thing because it's totally unaffordable to just like wait around and buy every remake for 70 dollars no, or buy yeah. every streaming it's absolutely it's like, the, 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 the and it's and it's it's um oh my god there's the the term i'm forgetting but it's basically like it's not. Oh yeah, it's it's um, it's scarcity, but only because they are are choosing it to be. Like it's 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 oh, artificially scarcity. scarce. Yeah. yeah, artificial scarcity. Like it's not actually scarce. Like Mario 3D All Stars doesn't need to be a timed release. Like that's not necessary. No. Uh, they're just doing it to, to fuck with people. Artist. Also, did you just cut every piece of grass? I did, so it would be easier to roll. <laughs> So that, that's actually another another uh, design-related question I had is uh, one of the things I'm thinking about is making the grass grow back so people don't feel compelled to cut it all the time because oh. I don't want them to get bored. Because I imagine it's not very fun just cutting the grass, is it? Um, I, it doesn't bother me because I uh, oh. I have played a lot of Zelda games where cutting the grass is ooh maybe you could incentivize cutting grass by adding stuff in it or disincentivize it. That's that's certainly yeah yeah. Well, well, the thing we would add is the K, we would add KP points for getting your health back. I'm certainly considering that. Yeah yeah. Like like cutting a piece of grass gives you one or something like that. Yeah, like you could or or even like as I said, disincentivizing it so like having something hiding in the grass that would not otherwise hurt you if you didn't cut it. 
Oh, uh, no, I'm, I'm writing that one down. That's yeah. a really fucking good idea. So, like, you could... And, and it could even be, like, a shitty thing, like, like Demon's Souls or Dark Souls does, where, like, normally grass doesn't fuck with you, but, like, that one time sure. it does, so you're paranoid for the rest of the game that might do that. Mimics? Yeah, yeah, Not yeah. only mimics, um, like... I think H Bomb talks about this in one of his Dark Souls videos, where it's like there's a a tile in um oh yeah it's in a, it's in a, it's in Bloodborne. There's like a tile in one of the castle areas. I can't remember. It's like mm -hmm. the Canehurst Canehurst Castle. Uh, there's a oh, tile yeah, yeah. that is a trap. Uh, so like for the rest of Canehurst, he was just looking for a tile that looked out of place because it terrified him. <laughs> <laughs> it's just oh, getting man. killed that way. That's it's funny. so good. Oh, copyright law with all media is kind of jank. Yes, yes. I it's an it. instant. Ian Friends is pointing out that if we were to put good things in the grass and bad things in the grass, we would just be forcing them to cut it and get themselves hurt no matter what. Yeah. <laughs> yeah which is true. That's a good point. Yeah, so I guess we would probably want to... Yeah, also, everyone watching, the, uh, the root enemy is not done. You won't just be smacking at nothing. By yeah, the I end, a, there's. I played a previous build where you couldn't even see the roots, uh, so I thought yeah. it was like a ghost. I thought it was a ghost, and like just the attack was how you found out where he was. But like the root is very cool. It's a very cool way yeah. to know where he is. What it's gonna do is it, it's gonna like launch itself out of the ground and strangle you. And the idea is that the fa the more you press the button to get out, the longer it takes to get out. So you just have to like let it happen. <laughs> like like in that fucking Harry Potter scene in Sorcerer's Stone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that's that's very I just read cool. All Harry books for a class. You did what? I just read all seven Harry Potter books for a class. It was it was okay. It was okay. <laughs> They're fine. <laughs> I don't have strong opinions. Yeah, um, I mean, you can definitely have opinions about Harry Potter that aren't negative, but you know, still <laughs> acknowledge the elephant in the room. <laughs> 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 oh, I wasn't even thinking about that. I mean, obviously J.K. Rowling's a bad person. <laughs> For but, sure. Um, it's, it's... Yeah, which was actually it was nice. The, the class actually, we actually had a module on J.K. Rowling's not a good person. Wow, that's pretty cool that, yeah. they, that they bothered to do that. That they bothered, yeah. Yeah, it's like... I, I, was, I was thinking about this with, like, other creators, like David Bowie, too, where it's, like, his... Like, a very influential artist that, like, definitely did horrible things. Like, oh, I didn't know David Bowie did anything. I, oh. I hate to be the person to tell you about it. Because uh, oh, it, it really, no. it hurt me when I found out. It was like really soon after his death. Um, but he like, oh, trigger warning also. I'm going to talk about some like, po like uh, sexual abuse. So like, if, if you don't, Bowie. yeah, if you don't want to hear that, um, you know, tune out for like the next five minutes um, or, or, or in general, like don't, don't feel free to stay or don't feel obligated to stay. But um. I just want to put that out there. Yeah, <laughs> come back for Barry, if not for me. Um, but like <laughs> the, the there is this um, like I think she was fourteen or fifteen uh, when, when oh, at the time, no. but she was this like groupie basically, um, and she Jeez. dated the one of the main uh, either the singer or the guitarist of Led Zeppelin when she was that old, when she was a little person, like a little girl. Oh. Um, so. I think his name's Jimmy Page or something like that. So, like, fuck him, too, in this story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, But da he was, like, friends with David Bowie. And, like, David Bowie basically propositioned her and her friend who oh. was also underage. And they, like, went back to his hotel room. And I don't want to, like, get into details. Sure, uh, sure. But, like, yeah. that's what happened. And she doesn't view it as a negative experience. I know it sucks, me and friends. It's, like, it's a huge blow because David Bowie music is really good. I'm like, but it sure sounds like David Bowie committed statutory rape, probably. Yes. So like, Ugh. it is. It is really. It's really shitty. Um, and like, I I want to be able to enjoy his music, but like, just can't as much anymore because of this information. And she doesn't view it, like, not that this is important even, but she like doesn't view it as a bad experience. Like she's like, oh, I had sex with David Bowie. Like that was cool, and still has like maintains that opinion even though she's an older adult woman now. But, like, obviously that doesn't justify it in any way, because it's a child, yeah, yeah. you know? Um, so, like, it sucks. It really sucks that that's the case. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Good to know. Yeah, I'm sorry that I had to tell you. <laughs> I, I don't like, I don't like t telling people about it, because it's like, I, I sure, also sure. love David Bowie, and it hurt me to find out that information. But, like, you know, mm -hmm. 
It's it's like just really lame. And same with J.K. Rowling. It's like the more when you know this about this person, it probably if if you care about these things, it does sully your opinion of them. And it's not like it's not like every single person that has like you know uh, a skeleton in the closet is like that bad even. Like there's there's mm. creators where it's like oh like they did they did something that I didn't like, but like it's not like that. It's not pedophilia or tr transphobia. <laughs> So it's like it's yeah. like oh they they said something shitty on Twitter ten years ago that doesn't bother me as much as like that sure, this, sure. <laughs> this situation yeah yeah like there's there's certainly levels of like what accountability I think but that that's like those two things cannot cannot be justified in any way in my head at least I mean um, yeah that's totally fair I think you're probably right yeah it's it's a shame that, <laughs> that like people you you want to like. Hey, JK is alive and actively bigoted. That's absolutely true. Yeah, that's yeah. JK is like supporting pushes for terrible laws right now. Yeah. Oh my god. So, same with same with Gra Graham Linehan, the guy who made IT. Oh crowd. no. Oh jeez. Like he he's he's definitely on the turf spectrum. Like he he is very. Turfy. Oh sure, for sure. And like I love, yeah. I love like T Crowd, and I love a lot of the stuff that Graham has been involved in and cameoed in. Like Dark Place is one of my favorite shows of all time. Um, oh, Dark Place was awesome, yeah. I didn't and he's he was like on the, that. he's a jan he's the janitor in it, so he's not like an important character. But mm. he's, he was like friends with Matt Berry and Richard Ayoade, and I assume Matt Holness. So like he's in the show, and he says funny Beautiful. things in it. But it's like, God damn it, Graham, why are you a transphobe? <laughs> why are you doing yeah, this? Why are you gonna be? A just, yeah, generally, generally an asshole. I yeah. Think. Oh my god, like to the worst. And it's a shame because I saw him not even that long ago on like Dan Harmon's Harmon Town podcast, and it was like before mm. before he got really turfy and came out with all that. Sure. And it's like, why why you gotta do this, Graham? Like, I respected yeah, you, Graham. Hey, come on, Graham, my personal friend. Not not at all. <laughs> come on, Graham man. Yeah, like it's. Uh, it's rough, dude. It's it's rough. I, um, I may may jump back to what's on the screen for a second. Sure, sure, sure. I feel free. Yeah, which which of these which of the basic enemies do you find the most compelling? Slash, why the basic guys? Um, let me think. The crab ones. Now that I know how to kill them, absolutely. Mm -hmm. I, I I'm oh, all good, about good. it. Um, mm -hmm. let me think. The the little blue bug guys look really neat. Um. And are harder to hit in general. Like not that mm -hmm. like these guys are kinda hard to hit sometimes too. But that's like the name of the game. Um sure, sure. But the blue guys look really neat and like are very versatile in their movement. Like they can do a lot of different things. So I think they're very compelling in that way. Just like mm -hmm. they, they have a lot of things they can do and you have to find different ways to deal with them. Uh yeah. depending on what they're doing. Yeah, I have a lot of feedback about the blue bugs, so that's good to know. No, they're very cool. Uh and like just just looking at them immediately, it's like ah oh, bug, a little buggy guy. I definitely prefer a non-binary sword user with purple hair over J.K. Rowling. That's just my hot take. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, in, yeah, in terms of the story, it wouldn't make a lot of sense for this character to have a gender anyway. Not that I'm gonna give anything away, but they're not just like some guy, you know? Yeah. Yeah, because like. Yeah, I mean, the the story will be more... There's going to be a lot more tiles telling more of a story sooner or later, but, like, the idea is that this place you're in, if you go to the left, you can sort of see that there was a hedge maze. So, like, the idea is that there used to be people here. So, you know, you're not people. That's very cool. Along those lines. Oh, I like that. Uh, and then another, another question I had was... Do you, um, as far as enemy designs go, do you... Um, are you finding that you're enjoying yourself more when the enemies stay closer in one zone, like the crabs, or the enemies that move around a lot and just make, like, traversal as, like, an obstacle? Uh, I, I can't Can say make... which I prefer. Because, um, like, even, even the enemies that stay in the tight areas, like, where where the area is and how tight it is definitely has an impact on, like, how much I enjoy. Like, like one crab enemy is more difficult than another crab enemy, depending on where they are. Um, sure, sure. Yeah, how small so I think space is, yeah. I think any amount of like difficulty you can add with traversal is like just gonna be a good thing in general for sure. Definitely gonna be adding like puddles of mud that you can't get rid of that oh, it just yeah. sucked to walk through. I like that a lot. Cool, yeah, cool. definitely, definitely both for diversity. 
uh, like Patches is saying. Like, yeah, that's true. Because the the idea is sort of like, you know, in an abstract sense, we kind of are thinking of it as like a slow motion bullet hell, oh. where like just things are moving around and you have to break them and get out of the way a lot. We want the player to feel like pretty disempowered. Like we want them to feel like there's a lot going on and they have to like take hold of it rather than like you're dueling. It's like Dark Souls is kind of a dueling simulator, right? Like mm -hmm. it's uh, it's about, how would you put it? It's about, sorry. It's That's about like... locking onto an enemy, strafing around it and blocking its attacks and looking for openings. With this, we want it to be more about like, if there's one enemy on screen, they're never hard to fight unless it's a boss. And But the idea is that while you're fighting one, you might get hit by something else. And that's just because like Dark Souls is a behind-the-back game, so you can't see behind you, right? Mm -hmm. But this is a top-down game, which means you can see everywhere. So the game is only hard if you have to take into account like all 360 degrees of movement around you. Whereas in Dark Souls, the game would be impossible if you had to be looking behind you, because you can't look behind you. Yeah. Yeah. So that's sort of the thinking. I got this log again. I done got this log again. Hell Fuck yeah. Fuck easy logging. All my homies love a traversal <laughs> challenge. Well, I, I appreciate that sentiment because I am very, very much on board with the idea that basically any action game, in my opinion, not that they all have to be like this, but my favorite ones, the primary thing that makes combat difficult is where it takes place instead of the enemies it takes place with. Oh, absolutely, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Neon friends. We yeah. tried to make him. Somebody thought he was a dragon, which I was like, perfect, good. Yeah. That's what I want. To make. He's very cool. <laughs> I stand Crocolock. I can now run fast because well, there's no enemies you know, on screen. Yeah. Little do you know, Crocolog actually is. I couldn't. I couldn't think of anything in time that was. Uh, Politically incorrect, but not offensive enough to make jokes about. <laughs> I, I totally feel you. <laughs> this is this dang PC police. I have to be more constructive with my jokes. That's the joke you're supposed to use, right? Which one? He, he, he hates Germans. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> oh, no, it's not, something that doesn't matter as much. <laughs> Crocolog. You damn oh, German man, hater. Thank you for playing this for like an hour and a half straight. I thought you were going to play it for like 10 minutes. No, I, I didn't know I would be playing it this long either, but like I, I'm i really enjoying it. I'm really enjoying your commentary and conversation. So thank you for being ah. here. Awesome. Yeah, this well, is... Well, yeah, neat. but if you want to chat is, again, if you're noticing anything where you're like, ooh, that's not quite right. It does, if it's a bug, sure, point it out. But the bugs are... The bugs are the least of my concerns at this point, like um, glitches. But if you notice anything where you're just like... I would rather it work this way. Or you're like, that's kind of weird that it works that way. Definitely just, just drop it in the chat. I won't be offended. Absolutely, I'll just yeah. down and be happy about it. And I'll, I'll try to think of anything too. Uh, like I said, I'm not like the most game critical person. So like, I'll, I'll do my best to say whatever comes to mind. And I think I sent you some tweet, some stuff in tw on Twitter that was like, like this. Yeah, you definitely cool. did. Yeah. It was, was much appreciated. There was some, yeah, I've gone back and forth with a few people about, about the, uh, uh, who tested it from Discord servers and stuff. Also, anybody in the chat who wants to test this, you're more than welcome to. I can send you the link. Hell Just yeah. find me on Twitter. DM, DM the, 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 the weatherman on Twitter. Look at that baby. Yeah. That's my child. Yeah. I helped make that baby. <laughs> my child. You're adorable. <laughs> if you wouldn't <laughs> mind, Barry, throwing, throwing my, my Twitter in there too, just for fun. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. I definitely need the, 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 the followers at this point. Because I'm trying to get uh, my said... art, my art out there too. Oh yeah, yeah, your art's awesome. Thank Remember you. the first time, the first time we ever chatted was just like you, uh, you, you show. I, I, I forget why, but I think you asked me if I, if I had like any animations that I oh, yeah, was working on. Oh yeah, profile says you're an animator. Yeah, you're like your, your profile says you're an animator. Do you have anything that you're working? on? I was like, actually, as a matter of fact, I do at the moment. <laughs> It's been a while, and so I showed you what I was working on at the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a, it was like a, a very frustrated man slamming his fist down on a table. And uh, I forget what else he did. He, he, he was, was actually, he was, he was in bed waking up. Uh, oh, right, my bad, my bad. No, I mean that's that's my bad if that wasn't clear or if or if at oh, the it time. definitely was. I just haven't looked at it in forever. <laughs> it's it's been you know like five months. <laughs> it's been a Wait, while. Yeah, I'm, I actually I just found it again. Right, and he wakes up, mm -hmm. 
He wakes up and then he slams his hands down. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. There's there's sense. um, they have the whole thing. Well, it's not done, but like all the line work, uh, as it's as it is, is done for the moment. There's like two parts to it that are on Instagram. So if you mm -hmm. want to follow us on Instagram, you know, if, if you want, uh, but it's there too. And like, it's a, it's a thing that I've been like working on for a long time. Not the animation, just like that, that world and concept. And like, I hope mm -hmm. I can one day make a dang old, yeah, fuck yeah, Patch, put your Instagram in there. Hell yeah. And you can, you know, you can put mine in there too. Follow us on Instagram. But, um, <laughs> sh shameless plug, but, uh. Like, I really do want to start making comics of stuff. I just want to get my art to the point where I can look at it and not, you know, uh, have horrible anxiety about anyone looking at it. Your art is good. What are you talking about? I, I actually, like, I don't use Instagram, but when I, I typed your name into the fucking the Google earlier today to find your Twitch, and I found your Instagram, and I was like, these are really nice. I, I definitely have been trying to work on it more. I, I need to work on my weaknesses as an artist more. Um, which like, are? Which are pretty much, like, backgrounds at all which is like not only me a lot of people have this problem uh, i guess these are a lot of character drawings yeah yeah like it's so hard to make a convincing character in a background piece so that's one thing i'm trying to work on a lot it's like perspective work and i don't put that stuff on instagram because it's like you know not good <laughs> so i i want to be able to get to the point where i can post that and be proud of it um I really mm. like your guy sitting on a tree stump. That's pretty yeah. Good. That's that's the guy in the animation. Uh, oh, that's, nice! That's in bed, um, he's like, he's like, um, it's I mean, it's very like at this point, very generic shonen stuff. I would say I'm trying to like make something that's both like, like a, a fantasy story, but also like deals with more topical stuff. So like, I like especially. Um, the current like not current political climate but like the way that people engage with like the the, the government that they live under uh so i've been hmm. trying to like make that a personal story while still being like you know not unaccessible or like or that is still recognizable um mm -hmm. and like that's the main character of that story but like it's also got like a bunch of other stuff that like i just like and would like to put in a story um the other thing that I, like, really, really want to make a comic of that I'm going to start making art again for is, like, a... It's basically, like, vegan propaganda. Yeah! Because <laughs> I, I am one and would like to, like, make that a more uh, interesting thing to work with. Because, like, uh, what's it called? The, the movie... Um, oh, my God. It's the Bong Joon-ho movie about factory farming. Okja, okay. okay. thank you. God. Um, Okja is, like, really, really cool, and I would like to make a comic with more things like that. So, like, my friends and I, for a little bit, years ago, came up with a concept called, um, like, Let's Talk About Dragons. Hey. And it's, like, a world in which, um, I helped develop some of the characters for that com one comic I did. Yes, you did, Patrick. You were very, very instrumental in a lot of the creation, um, the character creation and, like, world building. But, like, it's... Basically, a world where dragons are like the main factory farm source. Oh. So, like, they use them for meat, they use them for fuel, they use them for like almost all parts of their lives. And, like, the main characters are involved in both the industry and, like, and also in, um, on the opposite end of the spectrum, like, eco terrorism. So, hey, hey. so they're like trying to, some people are trying to liberate dragons, and then some people are, you know, part of that factory farming system um and then like some of them later have moral quandaries with it because they find out that like some dragons can talk and, uh, and not not all of them like they're not they just they're not they just all, um yeah. yeah they're not just like beasts of burden or for slaughter like a lot of them can speak and so when they meet a speaking dragon they're like oh like i didn't know that was possible and they're like well they, they, they all can they just, you know, maybe, maybe some of them don't know how. They haven't learned how to do it. So, like... Mm. So, wait, what's the analog for that with real animals, then? So, with real animals, it's, like, the way the way I view it, and, and just veganism in general, is, like, if there were, like, an alien race that came down, hypothetically, and started eating people, you would not be, like, well, well like, I can talk, though. I have a brain. Why, why, are, why am I... 
not being, uh, you know, why am I not being excused from the, the, the murder of people? Because I'm, I'm a big smarty pants. Like, why, are, why aren't you eating us? Uh, or why are you eating us? Because, like, we're smart. And it's like, well, why would that make, make a difference? Why should you being able to talk mean that you are, you know, better than other animals? So, like, and it's the same with, um, like, because there are people, like human beings, that can't talk. Or, or, or can't, or don't have the same cognitive functions as other human beings. But they shouldn't be eaten. You know, they don't, they, their lives aren't any less valuable. And so that's gotcha. like, that's like the main, the main, I guess, um, moral issue. I'm not even explaining it very well right now, but like... Oh, you're, you're totally fine. I mean, you, yeah, it's a story you're writing right now, yeah. Yeah, it's like... So, uh, what yeah. I'm, I am, um, so am I right in assuming that you are, you are vegan from the, uh, the, uh, from the... From the moral, perspe moral perspective more so than the economic perspective or both it's definitely both um because like yeah. they, they inform the other like climate change is is definitely like a, a big part of it and it's not going to be solved by people going vegan like it's just a very small part of it um it'll help a little bit but it'll definitely help it's like the most you personally could do um but like again it's like 75 percent of the waste is not produced by by people it's produced by you know corporations That's so corporations yeah so like i can't i can't say that like veganism is going to solve all our problems but like in both a moral way and in an economic way it's like the thing that you should do um sure, sure. fair enough and i don't want to like i don't want to say like in a holier than thou way obviously like no, I, I respect it. Yeah. yeah people have different reasons for doing what they do but like if you can if you don't have any health issues um and like you know and you want to do something that's like pretty minimal because like i find eating vegan is easier than like going to the gym you know <laughs> like that's that's a thing that requires way more effort on my part than like my dietary choices so it's like it's something that's fairly easy to do and it's not like like there there definitely are uh like things to say about um like oh, like c certain fake meats are very expensive, but they are getting more um, accessible, and uh, it's it's sure. to me it's a good thing. But you can still eat vegan without going that route too. Like most people can eat rice and beans, and those are like very cheap and vegan. Like you can you can eat stuff that's that's affordable too. Uh, it's not just all about the fake meats. Um, as much mm. as I do enjoy those, <laughs> like they're cool. But you can yeah, yeah, eat, they are cool. Yeah, yeah. You can eat other stuff too. Like you can eat whole foods that aren't uh, expensive uh, that are vegan as well. But I do, I do want to make that kind of comic, and I want it to be engaging outside of just being vegan too. Like the, I, I really like the characters I made with Patrick and, and our friend Erica too. Like we had a really good time, kind of workshopping all of them. Yeah, people already eat food that's that's people vegan, like bread. Accidentally vegan, like bread. Yeah, or Oreos. <laughs> like, there's a lot of stuff that is just vegan without you thinking about it, and like. Sure. You mean anything that isn't uh, meat or dairy? Or <laughs> exactly. Eggs, right? and, yeah. and I, you know, as far as I know, evidence points to like both meat and dairy not being really good for you, uh, health wise. Yeah. So like it, it can be also a thing where it's like in a purely selfish way you can be vegan too. You can do it just for you. Um, so that's like, true. Yeah. For for me, there it's like definitely... say what? Sorry. There's definitely... Oh, sorry. It's um the uh. The, uh, the the question about like which foods are good for you and whatnot, I feel like um, it is definitely the case that you can totally eat a healthy vegan diet. Mm -hmm. But like, I, I don't, I don't, I don't think it's so clear as like entire food groups are bad. It's I, th I think a lot of that has uh, I'm not I'm not a scientist or anything, but I think sure. a lot of that has more to do with the uh, amount to which Americans eat food, meat and dairy. Yeah, yes, for Our sure. Dairy industries are ridiculous. Absolutely. Yeah. No, it's. Oh yeah, the only macronutrient, and it is only meat. Yeah, protein. <laughs> there is this awesome like. There are no peanuts. Yeah, there's this little comic. It's like um, like a leopard talking to a rhino. And it's like, bro, where do you get your protein? <laughs> it's pretty great. Uh, okay. Uh, another game. Another mm -hmm. game question I had. Sorry to. No, no. Let's get back, back to the game. Um. I'm, I just keep watching and I'm seeing. So, um, what do you think of how the impacts on the attacks feel? I know you mentioned really liking the heavy attack. What do you mm -hmm. think of like the tipper attack? Like when you're just doing this? 
the the, uh, the thing that happens when you hit them with the very tip. You you have you noticed that sometimes when you hit them with the very the tip of the sword, they fly really far. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, like more digger. How do the the different stab attacks feel to you? I think um, sound would definitely make them more engaging to use. Oh. Sure, um, sure, sure. That'll definitely be coming soon. And especially like like what you just said, the tip attack. Like I haven't, I've noticed that they've flown really far sometimes, but I wasn't thinking oh, about yeah. it. Um, oh so Marth, yeah, it's a Marth. It's like Marth. It is like Marth. It's just like Marth. Um, so what, like, what would make that more clear to you? So definitely sound for sure, and and maybe even like a little okay. a little indicator on the sword. I think it does with like like it, it uh it, shines. There's a little, yeah, there's that, uh, the glint. Yeah, a little shiny on the tip. That's definitely good. Um, okay. But like any even a sound on top of it would make it even extra. Oh yeah, extra well def- everything's gonna have sound effects. We just haven't gotten that far. Yeah, I think that's probably the thing that that it's missing now. But um, gotcha. like yeah, once sounds implemented, it's gonna be way cooler too. Like. I'm very like excited. The, uh, do you feel like is there a satisfying enough smack when you hit stuff and you're allowed to say no? Mm. Like what? When, like when you actually hit it? Like the the uh, the game feel? You mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I mean, obviously, assuming there was sound, do you think it's like? Where, where, how do you feel about it? Because we're we're definitely going to be changing the effect. Like because right now it's a little red splash that doesn't look too good. But yeah, what do you, what 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 uh, what would you expect? Like when you go to hit them, are you expecting more? Are you expecting less? Um, I don't I don't actually think so. I think that it's that 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 part is fine. Um, okay. like really my own because I, I told you this on Twitter too. Like that's really my only my only um, gripe, and it's not really a gripe. It's just like it's not there yet. Um, yeah, sound is like having that sound on the hit is going to make it really, really satisfying to hit stuff. Because so far, actually hitting stuff, like, I re- I know the hit's registered. It's not like I, I don't see it, because, like, the, even the enemy flashes, too. Or, or there's yeah, like, yeah, an yeah. indicator that's hit. So, like... Oh! Games have different sounds for footsteps on different terrain. Yes! That is, we're, that we're is great! Yeah, we're, we're definitely going to do different sound effects for, like, substantially different terrain. Like, um... Like, when you're, when you're walking through, through the tall grass, you're going to hear, like, a... Whoosh, 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 whoosh. I haven't decided yet if we have the um, level of commitment to do a different sound for every piece of terrain, but we definitely want to. Yeah, the sound design guy is like just getting started working on it as of like a couple weeks ago. Man, I am so very excited to try that out. Oh, and sadly, I do have to go in like a minute. Sure, 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 sure. I, 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 I was probably going to so uh, quit the stream in a little bit anyway. Uh, but yeah, dude, okay. this has been so fun. Thank you for coming in and talking. Uh, and I really appreciate it. I would love to come back, especially when they. I mean, I yeah. mean, obviously, I would love to hang out regardless. But eventually, when the game is further along and has a real level to test, I would love to show it to you. No, that would be so cool. Yeah, like definitely, you can come on stream anytime you want. Because um, I'm like, if I if I'm not talking to somebody, I'm just talking to to the chat anyway. So like. Um, feel free to oh, come in, cool. yeah. and you can talk about video games, uh, we can talk about your game too, we can talk about, you know, whatever game we're playing, or any, any game at all. I love talking about stuff, video games especially, like, they're, they're, you know, one of my favorite hobbies, so. I have an unfortunate amount of opinions about video games. <laughs> no, no, you can never have too many opinions about video games. <laughs> unless- and No one cares about on Twitter. <laughs> unless- uh, I care about them, Barry. That 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 like I kind know of two people who who reads them. <laughs> yeah, that that robot game that you shared inf- information I know. about. It looks, so good. It looks like I a PS One game. Yeah, yeah. I love right, the way that you. game looks. Right, I should head out, but thank for you, sure. thank you, thank you so much, and thank you all in the chat for your interest and your compliments, and also, yeah, really for real, definitely. If you if you have any interest in following this game. Find me on Twitter. Yeah, if you please have any follow in- the weatherman on Twitter. He's very cool. Yeah, if you any interest in playing the demo, you can. I can give that to you if you DM me on Twitter. Somebody already did, and um, I'm yeah, I'm very excited to show this to you guys as it progresses. Slash, uh, be less scared as it starts to feel more like a whole game. It took me about ten months to get here because I just started learning programming. But yeah, you've I will. Done a, you've done a really uh, good uh, job, Barry. Uh, and yeah, any anytime uh, you want me to like play a different version of the te- of the game, like on or off stream. Just send me the file. I'll, I'll play it. Absolutely. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Yeah, Talk to you guys later. See you, Barry. It's been fun. Barry Herber signing out. See you later, dude. Well, that was Barry. Barry is cool. Barry's game is cool. Uh, we should 
we should keep playing it uh, another time too. But uh, without Barry's commentary, I feel like might maybe it won't be as interesting. So we're gonna maybe jump into a different game now, but I had a lot of fun there. This is very neat. All right, do you guys have any preference on like what I should play? Cause I could just play more Baldur's Gate for a little bit, or I could try to get my Genshin to work. My capture card got fried the other day, unfortunately. So uh, I can't play it except through like PlayStation Now on here. Um, oh, hold on. One second. Oh, okay, you know what? I actually might end the stream early today because um, I have some obligations. So I will uh, see you guys later. Yeah, sorry, I, I actually should go, guys. But uh, it's been really fun. Uh, again, follow Barry on Twitter. Uh, and follow me too, please, at Oddslav on Twitter Instagram. Uh, I love you guys, and be safe and well. Uh, it's been a really fun stream. See you guys later.